I'm here with Dr. Romano to do a problem on moles and percent composition. Hi, I'm Dr. Romano, a professor of organic chemistry here at Romano Scientific and the creator of the Orgo Man products and the author of the Death Destroyer book. I want to go over with you today two short bed type of questions you're going to see on the DAT. So come along and let's have a quick look and watch how I do it. What we have is 6.0 grams of sodium nitride. And I want to know how many sodium atoms are contained in this 6 grams. Well, the first thing I do is write to get 6.0 grams. Now, what you want to do is put the same word in the bottom, which is grams of Na3N, one mole of Na3N, you look up the weight, weighs 83. And that will cancel out grams. Then you notice that this whole thing, think of it as a big molecule. So in one mole, notice moles are on the bottom, contains 6 to the 23rd molecules of Na3N. Even though if something's ionic, we don't technically call it a molecule, in stoichiometric um, calculations, just think of this as one big molecule. So we have six to the 23rd molecules. And then in one molecule of this, there is three atoms of sodium and molecules cancel. So we're left with atoms of sodium. So we're gonna take six times six to the 23rd times three over 83. Now I'll show you a nice way that I did this without a calculation um, or, or a calculator. Um, 6 times 6 is 36 times 3 is 108 and keep it 10 to the 23rd over 83. And then once I got it down to this, 108 over 83 is a little more than 1. So it's like 1.3, 1.4, something in there. So I called it 1.3 and there's the 10 to the 23rd. So you should be able to do a question like this and be able to do a good guesstimate. Okay. Find the percent of sodium in this 6.0 gram sample. First of all, whenever you do percent composition, the grams don't matter. All we're gonna do for percent of anything is the part over the whole times 100. Well, there's three sodiums, they weigh 23, the total weight of the sample was 83, and I'm gonna keep it in this form, three times 23 over 83, times 100. And many times the DAT exam will just have it set up like this. All right, I hope this helps and gives you a nice understanding of two types of problems that are a sure bet on your exam. All right, I'll see you in study group. Bye-bye.